Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Just a quick little uh, kind of announcement video this morning. I just, uh, there's a big thank you to a lot of people. So, you know, we had a kind of a weird, unfortunate thing happen yesterday, all right, which uh, you obviously saw my rant last night. Don't need to kind of get into the details again, but uh, basically, all I've seen since has been an outpouring of love and respect from hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you maybe it's even thousands now i don't know uh for your love for the channel and all that we do myself and my guests and the rest of the sea of tranquility community and that's kind of what i wanted to hit on here this morning uh you know there have been various comments people saying pete i hope you don't shut down the comments section you know pete i hope uh what happened yesterday doesn't you know sour you from doing the show anymore and all that kind of stuff um none of that's gonna happen all right uh it's gonna take a lot more than what happened yesterday to sour me on doing this i want everybody to understand something what i'm doing here on this youtube channel what i've been doing on the website for going on 20 years and what i've been doing as a kind of journalist in the you know hard rock metal and prog circles for 20 some odd years is has been my passion since i was a kid this is what i've wanted to do my entire life Okay, I love doing this. I love bringing my passion about music to you guys. Okay, and to and I love being able to promote and help the artists and the bands to to get their music heard, to get people talking about and listening to their music. That's why I do this. All right, because I love what they're doing, and if I can, you know. It's in my DNA to know as much as I can and enjoy this music just as much as you guys, but then to help others who are seeking and looking for new music to enjoy, either by new bands or old bands or you know unknown bands, whatever. Uh, if I can say, hey, I've heard this band, you guys should check them out as well. I mean, to me, that's, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Uh, and as far as the comments section... All right. I plainly stated yesterday, and if, if, it's going to be a little bit more work for me, but in my mind, it's worth it. All right. If you're going to be a a hole, all right, and post something disparaging or hateful against myself, my guests, or your fellow viewers, you're gone. That's it. End of story. And if I have to go and scour through the comments section a little more than I normally do to to get those people who don't belong here out of here, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. The comment section is not going away because the comment section makes up the community here. I think one of the reasons why so many people love coming here every day, every week for months and years like you have been and why we have almost 45,000 subscribers and why we have 200,000 plus people who come here every month. Right? It's because people love the community aspect because they can listen to hopefully engaging commentary by myself and or my guests or in conjunction with Sometimes it's very educational about music, all right, and insightful. You get point, counterpoint. Sometimes it's meant to be fun. You know, the rants, like the Monday Night Rants with uh, Chris Allo, Ryan Scow, and Nick Franco, and sometimes Steve Keeler and other people. I mean, those are meant to be fun, right? I think people love the fun because, quite frankly, the rants, the rants and the ranking the album shows are the ones that do by far the best on this channel. People love the kind of, you know, and let's get back to the community thing. I'm going to go off on all sorts of tangents here, so bear with me. Um... I think people love the fact that they can listen to us here on the video, digest it, offer up their commentary, their opinions, and get all this dialogue back and forth with so many of you who are like, you know, regulars on the channel. And I would hate for that to go away because I think 95, it's probably close to 98% of the people who comment and watch are very respectful of each other and each other's opinions. And everybody has a little bit of insight and, and it's like, and that's the way it should be. This channel is meant to be like a really large gathering, like at a bar, at a brewery, at a restaurant, at a picnic, at a barbecue, whatever. People just talking about shit they love and music they love and bands and artists they love and why they love it, right? And yeah, every now and then things get a little heated because, you know, people you know feel strongly about their opinions. But that's okay. I don't mind that. I never minded that. What I do mind is when certain people, and again, we're talking about a very small percentage very small percentage. And the only reason yesterday I even did yesterday is because the stuff went way too far. And it was directed and, and thrown at specific people, okay? And that's that's not cool. I don't need those people here. But I think that everybody, it's like this big, fun community. And if I were to, if I were to stop the comments section, I think less people would come here because that's what they really enjoy about this. 
uh, you know, it's one thing to just, you know, listen to me or, and me and my guests or whatever, but to be able to kind of communicate. And I try very hard, guys. And I know some of you get frustrated that I don't answer enough direct questions or things in the comments section. It's because there's so many of them. It's not like it was three, four years ago where, you know, we would get maybe if we were lucky 50 comments per video and I could go and answer all of them and, and you know, engage in dialogue with all of you. It's, you know, it's hard. Some videos have thousands of comments. And it's just like, I just can't get an answer to all of them and answer all of them. But I try as best I can, and I think I do a pretty good job. But I will be policing the comments section to weed out those unwanted and undesirables, because they're always going to be there, like so many of you said. A couple people were like, you know, Pete, you're, you know, you're kind of beating a dead horse here. It's like, that you're never going to get rid of them the bigger you get. And I understand that. I totally understand that. Um, it's just, there were a handful of them yesterday that went way too far. And that really you know if, if you're upsetting my guest enough to say that he just does not want to appear on this channel anymore because my viewers are terrible that's bad and again it's a small percentage all right but they were so bad and so hateful that it just ruins the experience for everybody and that you know i can't have that can't have it so and you know it's funny because uh, i mean like thirteen thousand people have watched that that video yesterday it's crazy it's crazy and some of the people who, you know, took it, it's amazing how many people or, you know, the, you get those few people who take offense. So right now I think there's like, you know, 2,000 people who gave it the thumbs up and, you know, 40 some odd people gave it the thumbs down. Well, you know, I've already banned like 20 people since yesterday because you got a few who come on. I mean, one guy was like, <clears throat> I've never been given the riot act like that from any of the hundreds of YouTube channels that I've watched over the years. I feel offended and I'm going to unsubscribe. Well, go right ahead, because obviously you're, you know, this maybe wasn't even directed at you, but if you're going to take offense at something that was you know, meant to a, a small percentage and they know who they are, that you're going to get offended by, uh, I'm not even talking to you, all right? It's just because people take everything personally, even if it's got nothing to do with them, right? Um, just incredible. And, you know, and a bunch of people, were, yeah, there, there were a handful of them that, like, obviously took offense to my little tongue lashing that were directed at a few but you know what if you if you if you're feeling guilty about something you didn't do then you got issues right because the people know who they are so uh and then you know there's a lot of people who really have not you know this was not directed at who are you know oh, i made a i made a kind of a not great comment like three months ago guys come on just don't worry about it it's like this was mostly the people who know who they are all right. If you if you if you haven't been hurtful against someone, right, and then then don't worry. It's, this is these were very personal, hurtful, slanderous attacks that were not needed. Okay. So, uh, but they've all since been gone. So it's all good. Pete's happy. Uh, you know, a lot of you were like, Pete, you look so miserable yesterday. You look so unhappy and so pissed off. Please don't stop doing the show. I'm not I'm not going to stop doing the show. All right. This this is I love this. All right. I love this. So uh, I wanted to just kind of thank. I mean, so many great comments. Uh, so many great comments uh, directed towards me and the show itself and all of my guests. A lot of outpouring of love for the, the myriad of one. I mean, you know, and you guys got to understand something. My guests, especially my recurring guests, my guest hosts, they're, you know, they've become, they're like my colleagues here. They're my coworkers. They're like my family. And most of the, almost all of them are either really good friends of mine or they have become really good friends of mine since coming on the show regularly. I love all of them. I love having them. And I know that most of you guys love them as well. And I've had a bunch of people, you know, every now and then you get folks who are like, Pete, I like the shows where it's just you because, you know, the, the, the videos are shorter and it's just quiet. You guys, you got to understand something. I've done thousands of videos on this channel, right? And probably 80% of them has just been me. All right. While that's all fine and dandy, I don't. I love coming on camera for you guys and whatnot. I really enjoy having a guest host because for me, it's enjoyable and engaging to go that kind of one-on-one -on -one type of you know back and forth commentary and discussion. That's what it's all about. It's like you know, it's not always as much fun just talking to myself here. It's like I enjoy having guests on, especially those who bring really nice insights. Okay, and and I have a good rapport with, you know. Jeff Young is one of them. There's a reason Jeff's been on the show as many times as he has, right? Martin Popoff is another one. Love Mar having Martin on the show. You know, Chris Allo and, and Nick Franco and Steve Keeler and Ryan Scow and, and the Cyber Brothers. I mean, you know, we've got all these folks, you know, our listener. Uh, and that's coming up in a second, so I'll get that in a second. I mean, I, I, I'm forgetting people, but, uh, you know, Elliot Fulham. 
Brian Slagle, you know, all these people who have been on the show numerous times. I love having them on. For, there's a reason why I bring them back on. All right. John Newdorf, Stephen Reed, Carl Setterholm. Those are my Sea of Tranquility guys, the website guys. They're on the show as well. I mean, I love having these guys on. That's what it's all about. You know, Butch Jones, all these folks bring something to the table. And like I said, the majority of, of the comments I've seen from you guys has been you love them as well. They're part of the family here. They're part of the family here, so get used to them. There's going to be more. We're going to, there's going to be more people coming on the show. That's what it's all about. So, um, so wanted to, again, thank everybody for your comments. Uh, I read every single one of them, and uh, much, much appreciated. Okay, I'm glad everybody's loving the content, loving the channel. Uh, we're going to continue to grow this thing. We're going to continue to grow it, and yeah, we, we'll have little pains along the way, but uh, it's mostly positive stuff. So I wanted to kind of give you guys, we haven't done it in a while, a little bit of programming updates What's upcoming? Because a lot of you ask, Pete, when, what's coming up? What, when are you doing this? When are you doing this? I must reiterate, guys, please check the playlists. All right? I'm getting questions every day from many people. Like, Pete, when are you going to do a video on this, that, and the other thing? And it, it usually a lot of you viewers get to those first. It's like, well, Pete did that like a week ago. I mean, there was someone the other day who asked, uh, um, I've been waiting for a Man From Man's Earth Band ranking the album show. It's like, I just did it last week. Come on, guys, please use the playlist. All right, that's what they're there for. Before you go asking a question and posting a question about when am I going to do something, go check the playlist first because I, I would say 50% of all these questions is stuff that I've already done. All right, and remember, keep in mind, hard rock, heavy metal, progressive metal, power metal, extreme metal, progressive rock, jazz fusion, some classic rock. That's kind of what we do here, okay? If you're asking for punk and new wave and singer-songwriter stuff and, you know, Americana roots rock, and it's like, uh, you know, I, it's not really my specialty, okay? I, I would hope by now, I know a lot of, there's a lot of new people here, so I get that. But just keep in mind what the focus of this show is, all right? Okay, so in saying that, um, tonight we've got uh, another viewer appreciation day video. So our longtime viewer, George Lamy, is coming on the show, and we are going to rank the studio catalog of the Chick Corea Electric Band. I can't wait to do the show because I absolutely love the Chick Corea Electric Band. George is a big Fusion fan, just like myself, so uh, he has been my second choice to come on the show as our guest host, our uh, longtime viewer, guest host for tonight's show. So that's happening tonight. Uh, we've got tomorrow, John Petrucci lead guitarist from Dream Theater, right here on Sea of Tranquility tomorrow. He's got a brand new solo album out. You don't want to miss this show. That's going to be a great interview coming up tomorrow. I'm so psyched to have John on the show. Been trying to get him on for quite a while. So glad we can make that happen. Uh, Friday, Martin Popoff back on the show again. Friday morning with Popoff and Pardo. Uh, we are going to do a iconic band lineup show talking about deep purple that's coming up friday martin's coming back on monday we are going to do kind of like a um, continuation of the monday night new york squares or the hollywood square shows that i've been doing with uh, chris Al, nick franco and ryan scow of the bad album covers kind of topic so we're going to be doing martin and i are going to be each picking three bands that have historically pretty bad album covers and then each of us are going to pick one band that like has a lot of albums. Half are really good album covers, half are pretty terrible. So uh, that's coming up on Monday. And then uh, what else am I missing? All right, so you, some people want to know like what uh, what other things are in the hopper. All right, so guy, you guys remember Dan Brown? Dan Brown hasn't been on the show in a while. Dan is coming back. We I just saw him over the weekend. We are going to do uh, top ten songs of the Allman Brothers sometime over the next couple of weeks. Uh, what else? Steve Fleck, coming back on the show. Uh, we just did a couple shows recently, and he's coming back. We're going to do uh, The Outlaws, Top Ten Songs, and Dire Straits, Top Ten Songs. Okay, John Newdorf, he and I, it's by popular demand, and it's kind of a little off the beaten path for what we cover here, but a lot of people have asked, and John and I are both, you know, fans to an extent. Uh, we're going to do a Top Ten Songs of Bruce Springsteen. That's coming up. Uh, I'd like to get in a Night Ranger Top Ten Song show coming up soon. Uh, ranking the albums. All right, here's what's kind of in the works. And again, just be patient. This is stuff that's coming soon. All right, not necessarily this week or next week. Um, Steve Hackett, solo albums, coming up. Uh, Nick Franco and I are going to be doing ranking the albums of Enslaved, 
Borknagar, Emperor, and Mayhem. So for all you black metal fans, that's coming up over the, the coming weeks. Uh, I am working on delivering a Mata Hoople ranking the album show. Uh, Stephen Reed and I are going to be doing the great UK progressive metal band, Haken. We are also going to be doing the sensational Alex Harvey band. We're also going to be doing IQ, and we're also going to be doing Roxy Music. So look for Stephen and I to deliver those to you sometime over the next few weeks. Uh, I am going to do also, uh, I got this just stuff I'm reading off my list here. Little Feet, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Diamond Head, Climax Blues Band, Reed St. Mark from Celtic Frost, the great drummer from Celtic Frost, is going to help me out with the weather report, ranking the studio albums. I'm going to do Tony Williams' Lifetime, Larry Coriel's 11th House, Joe Bonamassa, the great modern blues player, going to do that as well. Blackfoot, coming up. John Dudorf and I are going to do 10cc in a couple of weeks. Uh, I got Badfinger, Atlanta Rhythm Section, Ario Speedwagon, specifically talking about those great old albums, coming up. Uh, what else? Rich Catino coming back on the show. We're going to rank the albums of Halloween. Elliot Fulham's coming back on the show. We're going to rank the albums of Testament. I'm going to do Fleetwood Mac, Overkill. For all you Doom fans, Candlemass and Pentagram is on the list. Vanilla Fudge, the great German hard rock slash prog slash kraut rock band Birth Control on the list. Ghost on the list. Blue Cheer, Saxon, top 10 albums coming soon. All right. Iced Earth. Jack Toledano is coming back on the show. We're going to rank the catalog of Iced Earth. I am going to do, I know I've talked about it forever, I'm going to do an Alan Holdsworth retrospective, kind of all the albums that he worked on, okay, throughout his career. That's coming up. What else? Uh, we're going to continue to do the iconic band lineups, right? Uh, what else? What else? What else? Man, I'd like to do an al a show on supergroups one of these days. That's on the list. Best Power Trio bands. That's on the list. Uh, a lot of history of stuff. I, I got. I do have to say, though, um, you know, I used to do a, a bit of those history of shows. For me, the ranking this, the albums has kind of taken place of the, the history of shows because not only are we ranking the albums, but we're talking about the history of the bands and the albums and the lineups and all that kind of stuff. So I've kind of given precedent to those ranking the album shows over the history of shows because they're kind of really, really similar. But I may revisit that at some time. All right. Uh, what else? I got some what if shows I'm kind of planning as well. Uh, what else? Lots of interviews that I'm trying to put together and the Monsters Den. Uh, I will revisit a couple Monsters Den uh, episodes hopefully later this week. I'm going to take some time off. See, the problem is I have no time to like watch movies these days. And even though I generally do Monsters Den episodes on stuff that I've watched a ton and I know very well, I still like to re-watch them before I do the shows. So, uh, but I do also have some other cool ideas for the Monsters Den. Uh, Chris Allo, who you all seem to love here uh, with his numerous guest stars here on the channel, uh, he is a huge horror fan as well. So uh, I have talked to him about doing like kind of like instead of like singular show, review, you know, movie review shows, doing stuff like, you know, favorite horror films by decade. Uh, favorite vampire films, favorite zombie films, favorite werewolf films, that sort of thing, uh, haunted house films, and do like, you know, our top fives and things like that. So I'm going to try and hopefully pull Chris into some of those uh, in the upcoming weeks and months. But uh, Monsters Den will continue. I know they're not as watched as some of the other stuff. So uh, uh, as for, you know, I've had a couple of people here and there asking for deep cut dives. I think I've kind of taken deep cut dives as far as I'm going to take it. Uh, but coming right around the corner, probably starting next week, is favorite guitar solos by guitar player. And that is that I'm really looking forward to because that I think is going to be a lot of fun. And I'm, I think each episode is going to be, I'm going to pick my favorite five guitar solos from a very notable guitar player. And any guitar player is like open to this challenge. So, uh, and there's a million of them. So I could literally be doing these shows for like ever. So, um, so yeah, so the Deep Cut Dive show is, is kind of go by the wayside. I'm also going to kind of go by the wayside, the uh, Blu-ray DVD picks of the day. Because uh, quite frankly, I mean, I got a ton more that I haven't even covered. But the problem is people just aren't watching them. And that's the problem. All right. So I really would rather focus my time on stuff that people seem to really dig and are watching. Because, you know, when I post uh, a DVD Blu-ray album pick of the day, 
you know, and it struggles to get a thousand views and I do a rant and it gets 20,000 views or do a ranking the album and it gets 10, 15,000 views. Obviously, I know what people like and it just doesn't make sense for me. If you're doing programming of any nature, whether it's television, YouTube, whatever, you have to go with the stuff that people are interested in watch because otherwise it becomes like a waste of time uh, when you could be doing something else that people will enjoy more. So I know there are some of you who really have enjoyed the DVD Blu-ray pick of the day. We've been doing it for close to a month now and I'll continue doing it for the rest of this week, but I think I'm going to phase that out as well so I can concentrate on other things. All right, so I'm sweating up a storm because of course I just shaved and my... Uh, after lotion is just dripping off my face. Uh, anyway, I think that about covers uh, everything that's upcoming. Uh, oh, and I did want to throw one more thing out at you guys now that I've been kind of keeping it a secret. So we are going to be having this thing in the fall called SOT or Sea of Tranquility Fall Fest. Uh, this is going to be happening in November. Uh, I have long been wanting to do a kind of see a tranquility festival or some kind of event or gathering. Obviously, with COVID-19, we know that's not really possible. So uh, I have been approached by a few people um, about putting together a virtual event. Uh, this will be like a uh, online two hour program that is going to include uh, studio and live performance clips from a bunch of bands and artists that I am quickly trying to assemble so they can uh, donate some of their wonderful music to this program. Uh, all the proceeds for this are going to go to the Humane Society, okay, because as you know, I'm a big animal lover and I know uh, they could really use the help. So uh, that is going to be happening, like I said, sometime in mid-November, I think. And there'll be all sorts of official merchandise for sale and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's going to be a cool event. Uh, it'll be broadcast uh, live on YouTube, live on the Facebook page as well. And then I think we'll have it in the libraries for all of you to check out. But uh, this will be really cool. And I hope to see many, if not all of you there attending this. There's going to be acts from all over the map as far as genres. You're going to see some prog. You're going to see some hard rock, some instrumental stuff, maybe some covers, uh, you know, some metal, surely all sorts. Of, I mean, I'm trying to get as much variety as I possibly can. So that's uh, all in the works. That is happening, like I said, in, no in mid-November. So uh, also do want to remind everybody, we do have Sea of Tranquility merch. You know, I, get, I still get all the time people saying, Pete, how can I help you out and contribute to the channel? Well, there's a couple ways you can, all right? It's very easy to do so now. Uh, first of all, let those ads run in the beginning of the videos, all right? I know YouTube instilled this new policy like a month ago where they started popping videos throughout the middle of the video, three quarters of the way through the video. I know that upset a lot of people. So I went in to my settings and I was able to turn that off. But you know what? You really helped me out a lot by letting those quick little 15 minute, 15 minute, 15 second or 30 second videos play at the beginning of the ad. If you get like a little banner that shows at the bottom, just leave it on there, okay? And now you're not really missing much. All you're missing is probably seeing my shirt, right? Not a big deal. Um, that would help greatly, okay? Because, you know, contrary to popular belief, we don't make a ton of money off of this stuff. So every little bit counts. Uh, we do have a Ko-Fi uh, page where you can make channel donations, all right? Um, I've had this up for a couple of months. Uh, you know, initially when I put it up, we had, you know, a handful of, you know, a couple dozen people who have, uh, you know, contributed to help out to fund, you know, the, all the time and effort and buying CDs and all that kind of stuff to bring you this stuff every day. So if you're at all interested in helping out, there'll be a Ko-Fi link in the description of the video. Go ahead and, and you know, do what you'd like. So, uh, but, you know, it's been, it's pretty, pretty light on that considering we have almost 45,000 subscribers. Uh, I don't even think we've had 50 people who have, uh, you know, contributed that way. But, you know, if you can't, you can't. I get it. But uh, if you can't, monetarily uh please let the videos run because that helps out as well as we have the sea of tranquility merchandise that helps out as well because we put together a nice little collection of stuff you got t-shirts a couple different designs all different sizes you got hoodies you got hats ski hats baseball hats mugs stickers all sorts of stuff in the the links to all this stuff will be in the description so please go ahead and uh Check those out and buy yourself some SOT merch. You can go show all your friends and show off that you support our channel. Last but not least, and I will put, I'll probably do a separate video on this. Uh, I am going to be on the Guitar Hack YouTube show once again tomorrow night. All right, Walter has uh, invited me on once again. The topic for all you KISS fans is Walter, myself, and a friend of Walter's are going to debate and talk about our 10 favorite KISS albums of all time. So if you're a KISS fan... 
please get over to Guitar Hack Live tomorrow night at 7.30 where we will be uh, discussing all that is KISS, our favorite KISS albums. I know I've kind of done it here on the channel before, but I'm, I'm, lo I'm looking forward to doing it yet again over on uh, Walter's site, Guitar Hack. So check that out. That's coming up tomorrow night at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, so you don't want to miss it. I think that's it, everybody. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. See you in a little bit with our uh, Blu-ray DVD pick of the day, and then I'll see you tonight for ranking the studio albums of the Chick Corea Electric Band. All you Fusion fans do not want to miss that one. All right, it's listener, or sorry, viewer appreciation day here on the channel. So we'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.